video we will give an overview of gorillas and why they are endangered. We will also look at what is being done to conserve them in the UK and abroad. Gorillas are the largest member of the primate family. 98% of their DNA is identical to humans. They have a significant sexual dimorphism. Gorillas have large canine teeth and a high muscle mass. Despite this, they have a vegetarian diet which comprises mainly of wild celery and bamboo. Gorillas live in troops of up to 40 individuals. This comprises of a silverback, which is the dominant male, alongside females, juveniles and young males. They are ground-dwelling animals that live in the dense tropical rainforest. There are four species. This map shows the distribution of gorillas in Africa. This ranges from Rwanda, Uganda, Cameroon and Nigeria. In 2007, the Gorilla Kingdom opened after 18 months of construction. Costing £5.3 million, the Gorilla Kingdom was built with an aim to increase public interest and provide the gorillas with a better quality of life. The Gorilla Kingdom consists of a large open island surrounded by a moat with an indoor gym and a back den. It also houses white cheek gibbons and Diana monkeys to provide a more natural environment. Let's go take a look. Here at London Zoo there are currently four western lowland gorillas, all of which here were born in captivity. In the wild they are from the Republic of Congo and the Congo in Midland Africa. Behind me here there are four gorillas, one of which is a silverback male and three others are females. The silverback male here is called Bobby and was rescued from a circus which was found travelling around Europe about 20 years ago. So now we've seen their home, but what do the staff at ZSL actually do to help conserve genetic diversity between captive populations? ZSL are part of the EEP, which provide interlinked breeding programs. Stud books are kept for each individual, which contain information about ancestry, sex and age, so that the module leader in Frankfurt can decide which individuals should breed in order to maintain the gene pool. Day books are also kept to record information about these transactions and daily activity. This makes the management of these animals much easier. Furthermore, operant conditioning and enrichment programs are used in order to encourage natural behaviours seen in the wild. As you can see, the keepers do a lot for species enrichment at ZSL London Zoo for the gorillas. There are a large amount of things for them to do inside as well as outside. In this inside enclosure behind me, they have a lot of ropes, tubs, boxes and food for them to play with while they are inside. Their outside enclosure is large and green and has several lakes in it which they can bathe in. But why do we need to conserve gorillas? Gorillas are endangered for several reasons. 80% of gorillas live in unprotected habitats. This has allowed for the establishment of commercial logging, agriculture and the mining of coltan ore, a mineral used in mobile phones. These activities have destroyed habitats and driven the bushmeat trade. Nearly half of the mountain gorillas in the Congo have died because of this. Gorillas have a slow reproduction rate, given that a female is not sexually mature until 10 years old. Infant mortality is common, especially when a new male becomes dominant. They are very susceptible to diseases. Ebola virus spreads very quickly and in 80% of cases, death occurs. Since 2000, more than 5,000 gorillas have died due to the virus in Central Africa. So the five main reasons for conservation are the value we get from conservation. So that's provisioning, providing food, regulation, maintaining the cycles, uh, support, as in one species, supporting another species like pollinators, preserving our options for the future, future drugs, future foods, and cultural and aesthetic reasons for conserving species. There is lots of conservation work occurring overseas to protect the gorillas. In 1991, WWF, along with Fauna and Flora International and the African Wildlife Foundation, co-founded the International Gorilla Conservation Programme, along with the authorities and governments of Rwanda, Uganda and the Congo. Since then, gorilla numbers have almost doubled. The IGCP focuses on encouraging regional collaboration between Rwanda, Uganda and the DRC, working in close partnership with the park staff of all three countries. A vital part of these activities is to implement more sophisticated monitoring and patrolling techniques throughout the protected areas, alongside helping to meet the needs of the local people. By improving livelihoods, encouraging sustainable use of resources and tackling other local issues via a range of community initiatives such as hospitals, the programme is influencing attitudes to conservation at all levels and reducing threats facing the parks, forests and wildlife. So what can you do? 
Your mobile phone contains a substance derived from coltan ore, which may be mined illegally, harming gorilla habitats. Why not wait until your old phone breaks before upgrading and recycle your other phones? Gorillas are a species of paramount importance and allow us to understand our evolutionary background. Conservation will allow the preservation of the species for future generations to enjoy.